So just a quick update video. I have made some new parts for the lowrider CNC. As you can see, uh, these ones here are new. Um, I replaced these all four on both sides because I had some issues with the old parts. They seem to be a bit fragile and uh, didn't quite pull through to through the winter. As you can see here, this is the uh, extent of the damage that I got. Uh, it seems that during the winter time the 3D printed parts got a bit fragile and uh, basically just broke off the corners. The issue with these parts is that uh, this little uh, wall here is so thin that uh, basically there's no chance of it uh, doing its work for a prolonged period of time. I decided to make my own parts with some bit thicker walls as you can see here. Uh, there's the comparison with the original part. Uh, you can see that this is about 5 millimeters thicker than the old part. I will be putting some links down in the description where you can download the STL files and try them out for yourselves. The swap should be straightforward. You don't need any extra hardware or anything. As you can see here, the first modification was without these mounting holes. And uh, I had a hell of a time <laughs> trying to screw the nuts on the bolts, but um, uh, in the files that I will be uploading, uh, this, this issue will be resolved and uh, there should be no problems uh, tightening the bolts now so yeah one thing left to do is uh, I should really make matching uh, clamps for these XZ main parts because you can see here I tried to um, mend this bracket with some hot glue but you can see that it's already started to break up here and uh, the same is uh, you can see here that this this little thin wall is just too thin to hold the CNC in place I still went uh, with some 3d printed parts because uh, I guess the main goal of the CNC machine is to be accessible to everyone and uh, of course I could make these parts out of aluminum try to mill it on this uh, very same CNC but uh, I guess uh, if you don't have a CNC machine you can't make those custom aluminum joints so you need somewhere to start and if you have a decent 3D printer then I guess your best bet to a rigid machine would be uh, these brackets here and later on if you decide to upgrade to aluminum parts then it's also a possibility but but yeah, this is a good start to try to make the machine as rigid as possible. And yeah, these uh, new XZ main parts uh, can be swapped directly. Maybe it's possible that you will need some longer hardware for mounting these steppers. But uh, I just swapped my steppers without changing any hardware, so it should be just uh, plug and play so yeah that's that's at the moment it if you have any questions or suggestions or some thoughts be feel free to comment down in the comment section and uh, i will try to answer each and every one of them